In a long 82 game season, are those kind of, I guess, it's called like a checkup? Is that necessary sometimes just to make sure that certain things don't slip it's in regards to physicality? Yeah, I mean, obviously, they thought today we needed it. Uh, so we came in here and did it. And, you know, everybody was competing out there. And uh, you know, it's, it's a good, you know, healthy you know, competition. Um, but, you know, every time you step on the court, you want to, you know, do the right thing, play hard. So that's what we we're doing today. One of the one of the things JJ said was talking about kind of dictating the terms of of the game um, and how you do that defensively with physicality. Um, how important is it to kind of set that like the first three or four minutes? Kind of and like it always seems to me like that leads to like how the game's going to be officiated then and different things like that. Like if you're like the guys that are the ones that are imposing your will. Yeah, I mean, um, I think if you watch basketball for a long time, the, the teams that are uh, "Quote unquote physical defensive teams, uh, you know, might get away with a little more uh, just because you're, you know, every possession you can't call a foul. So, uh, you know, we're trying to, you know, get to that where we're, you know, physical every possession, and you know, we're gonna have to make the refs call fouls. Uh, you know, our personnel isn't, you know, uh, you know, I think to be honest with ourselves, isn't the best. You know, defensively, obviously we got AB that you know, covers up a lot, uh, but." We have to be physical out on the perimeter, and especially when we're boxing out, we got to be a better, you know, defensive rebounding team uh, in transition as well. What so. are you What are you giving up if you're trying to be more physical? Do you know what I mean? Like everything has a cost, right? Like so, if you're ah. if, if you're if you're dedicating yourself to physicality defensively, where does are you more like you know obviously more foul trouble? Than, like what are some of the other like, pitfalls? Yeah, I think like you said, you you, you might tend to give up more free throws, um, but uh, I don't really know. I don't think you have to give up anything. I don't think it's really, you don't give up anything if, if somebody's crashed that you have the option to put a body on them and check them out. So uh, I don't think you necessarily have to give anything up there. You just put a forearm in their chest and if the ref calls it, then they call it. Sounds like you're going to get Jackson back uh, next game. Where can you benefit there with some of the athleticism, the physicality, and just the size against a team like Phoenix? Yeah, I mean, Jackson was playing really well, and it's weird because he's staring at me right now. But, uh, you know, before he tweaked his ankle, um, he was playing at a high level. He gave our uh, bench unit a big boost, uh, you know, in many aspects. But, you know, one definitely defensively, he was doing a really good job. His verticality took the room. So, uh, he does a lot for our team, and we need him. Uh, like I said, that energy that he brings off the bench is contagious. So, uh, happy to have him back. Thanks, Thanks. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.